completing the line. 20 of them wide across the course. Quite a long hold. Signals in front and back OK, and they're off. They're racing then for the plate. Cape Secret broke the line pretty well. Furiously ridden, Sentry Duty is adopting a handy position as well. And up the fence, McCorville making the most of that inside draw, but Cape Secret is going to cross and lead the plate field early. So it's Cape Secret up past the stands for the first time. McCorville a little keen in second place, disputing that with Sentry Duty in the quartered colours with the white sleeves. McEldowney settles in fourth place. Nosferatu is trapped four wide as they approach the bend with River Al Alhaf. Halasan Al Ella is the one that's going up the rail. A winged Darjon pressing out wide with the yellow headgear circles the field. La Estrella races in mid division in company with GD Nen. Greenwich, meantime, is also in midfield. Dr. Sharp, often ridden forward, is no closer than midfield at this stage with Juniper Girl. They're already beginning to strung out, tilts towards the back in company with Odium, who's another one who's well towards the rear of the field. Monolith Mustajed quite well back with Leg Spinner. So down the side of the course. And it's Cape Secret who leads by a couple of lengths from Wing Darjon, who shows in second. These two have already established a five to six length advantage over McCorville and McEldowney, who race in third and fourth. In fifth place, River Al Hath on the outside of Sentry Duty. Al Ella tracks this pair. La Estrella's posted a little wide at this point in proceedings as they prepare to turn and enter the back straight. So Cape Secret leads by a couple of lengths. Wing Darjon continues to race in second place. McEldowney on the outside disputing third. Uh, racing in fifth place is Sentry Duty with River Al Hath. Halasan races in about 8th or ninth place on the outside of Al Ella. McEldown is also in that chasing group at the moment as Cape Secret is charting an unusual course, has headed over towards the far rail, Cape Secret, and is ploughing a lone furrow right against the far fence. Nothing else has gone over as well, but Cape Secret, by a couple of lengths from Wing Darjon, uh, back in third place races McCorville. In fourth is Sentry Duty. Then in fifth is McEldowney from Al Ella, River Al Hath and Nosferatu make up the next wave. Greenwich meantime times alongside Halasan in mid-division in company with Dr. Sharp and GD Nen. Colloquials niggled along towards the outside in company with Monolith. Mustajed goes up the fence and still towards the back. Odium La Estrada who's being ridden along with tilt as they make their way down the back. So still Cape Secret is racing against the far rail. Wing Darjon appears however by charting the better course to have taken the advantage as they prepare to head back towards home. So out in front is Wing Darjon by a couple of lengths. Cape Secret that manoeuvre didn't really pay off in second Second place. Racing in third is McCorville. In fourth then is Sentry Duty. Al Ella travels well in fifth place. McEldown is punched along. Nosferatu comes next on the outside of River Al Hath. Hadassan comes on the inside of GD Nen. Juniper Girls in about 10th or 11th place at this stage as Tilt tries to pick off a few of the stragglers as Wing Darjon leads McCorville on the turn back towards home. So it's Wing Darjon with McCorville poised. Cape Secret looks a beaten horse in third as Al Ella sweeps past with Nosferatu. Then comes River Al Haas, sentry duty towards the inside. Tilt continues to stay on towards the outside of the course. McCorville has come through to lead from Wing Darjon. Al Ella races in third place, then River Al Haas. Tilt continues to be ridden along on the outside as they make their way now down inside the final couple of furlongs. Juniper Girl is in sixth place. McCorville has gone for home in the plate, has a furlong and a half to last. Tilt in second place. Juniper Girl is staying on stoutly. McCorville in front, but only by two lengths as they go inside the final. Final furlong, Tilton on the far side, Juniper Girl is thrusting home, McCorville, Juniper Girl has come from well back for Luke Morris, Juniper Girl, McCorville rallies when joins, sticks his neck out, a great Joel McCorville and Juniper Girl flash past together, the judge needed for the plate, Tilt was third, Alena fourth, River Al Hearth and Wing Darjon. Well, it's a freeze frame, that is astonishingly close. You can make... Initially, Derek and I were pretty sure that McCorville had just held on, but I'm not so sure now. He set sail for home early in the straight, cantering at that stage, looked sure to win under Dara O'Donoghue, saw it out well and battled back well when pressed late by Juniper Girl under young Luke Morris, who tended to hang in the straight before really rallying well. This is extremely close. I know I'm stating the obvious, but it's a hard one to call from the freeze frame we showed you. Tilt's run a good race as well, too. At this point, I thought McCorville was certain to hang on, 
but the filly over on the far side battling back well. And as she gets there, you think, well, she's sure to collect. But the horse this side, McCorville, who's still in front at the moment, battles on again. It's nip and tuck. It's right on the nod. McCorville still in front here. Does he hang on? They're going for the line now. It's who's got the bob right on the line. Oh! Dara O'Donoghue, who must have never had a moment's worry until the last hundred yards. He got horse travel beautifully for him, always in a good position, no trouble in running. The plies look sure to be his. Over on the far side now, Luke Morris gets his filly into full cry. Normally they announce these things very quickly. It's a sure sign it is, as I am sure you agree, very close. Right on the nod, all the way you think McCorville's got it, and maybe he has, but just on the line. Here we go. First number six. And it's Juniper Girl. Juniper Girl has won the Northumberland Plate. 